Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks very much for coming out today. Uh, my name is Neil Kent. I'm director of events for the Drupal Association. Hi, my name is Stephanie Elhaj. I am not. I am the program coordinator for the Drupal Association and for DrupalCon. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Stephanie. Um, a couple last uh, reminders before we get into the bulk of the presentation. Um, if you have not done your session evaluations, please do so. It's very helpful for your uh, speakers, and it's also helpful for track chairs when they are picking sessions in the future. We also want to remind you guys that tonight we'll be uh, playing trivia games in this very room. It will transform magically. So make sure after you go out, get some dinner, get some beers in you, you come on back out and play some trivia games with us. They'll also have an open bar here. Well, cash bar. <laughs> So after the uh, trivia night tonight, make sure that you are with it enough to show up to for tomorrow's contribution sprints. Same room as this. Um, it will have a uh, really good setup for people who are new to Drupal contribution. We'll have trainings for people who want to get started um, and a bunch of different breakouts for the different sprint initiatives. It's going to be running from 9 o'clock until 8 o'clock tomorrow and will include lunch and all snacks for people who are actively contributing. Uh, make sure to take the overall conference survey. It helps us plan future DrupalCons because we want to know what makes you guys happy so we can make you happy. Um, it's on the uh, main homepage. Just make sure that the carousel clicks through and you'll see this image. All right. Well, that's about the last of the housekeeping notes. Um, I'd like to bring on uh, the stage for just a moment uh, our executive director, Jacob Redding, to talk for just a moment about the Drupal Association. So, Jacob. Did you guys have a good time this week? Did you guys connect with the developer or themer that you had worked online with but met them in person for the first time this week? Anybody? That's awesome. That's like the power of our conferences is that we get people together in person. We work all year long online virtually through issue queues and an IRC and it's that really cool moment when you go like, oh, you are, you're so awesome. That moment is why we run DrupalCon. Anybody have that moment? Nice. So I want to take a quick moment to thank a few people in this room, which will probably turn into a number of people. First off, Neil and Stephanie here have put a ton of time into this conference. And I'm going to ask a few people to stand up here. If you are a member of the local organizing team, can you stand up? You're, you're scattered around. Global track chairs as well. If you worked in this conference over the past year, 365 days. Keep standing. If you're a member of the, for one, when you guys see these people, A, first off, give them a round of applause, and then buy them a beer. Don't worry. If you're a member, and, a, and this is going to be a group of people, if you're a member of the security team, can you stand up? Or the infrastructure team? The docs team? The project team? If you work on Drupal.org or a community initiative, can you stand up? Like the docs team, uh, uh, infrastructure team, security team, the dev team? Oh, we need more people like that. All right. Thank you, Joel. Those people who just stood up make Drupal.org possible, the actual website that you, you, that you work on day in and day out. Um, they definitely deserve a big round of applause as well as a beer. Uh, these people, everybody who just stand, stood up, you know, it's a great team, a really amazing community that we pulled together. And in the, the center of it, trying to coordinate and keep all this chaos somewhat under control is the Drupal Association. Um, and we have a pretty tough job because we have a very diverse, growing, uh, active community that's worldwide. Um, and we're growing. But we grow with you guys. And one of the ways that we grow is through our membership and through our sponsorships. So the last group I'm going to ask to stand up. If you're a member of the Drupal Association or you work for a company that sponsored this conference or is a supporting partner, can you stand up? <laughs> that is awesome. Look at how many people stood up. 
That is so great. Thank you guys for your support by being a member, an individual member, an organization member, by working for a company that supports the association, supports conferences like that. Because that initial question I asked, when you got excited because you met that other person you had been working with online, that's what we do. And that's what you made possible. So if you're not yet a member or your company's not, go shake them down. You know, support the association so we can grow stronger, we can strengthen our community, and we can throw more events like this in more places around the world. So thanks again, and thanks for coming out to Germany. All right. Thank you very much, Jacob. So uh, part of what we do uh, during this presentation is we talk a little bit about the finances of the conference. Um, what did it cost to, uh, to rent this wonderful facility? Um, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about some of these people, but um, in a long time of doing this conference, for me, I've been working on DrupalCon since um, Washington, D.C. in 2009, um, but I've been actually an event manager for 25 years, and I have never had such amazing service and partnership um, than I have at this particular venue. The food's been fantastic. The, the people that we work with have been fantastic. <laughs> So we're going to give them another round of applause in a little bit when we talk about our partners. Um, but right now I'd like to talk about what it costs to have people wait on you hand and foot for an entire week. So um, a little bit of expenses. I'm not going to go through line items. And this is a very, very abbreviated list. And it is estimates. We don't have our final numbers yet. We won't until tomorrow. So for the most part, um, I tried to focus on expenses that were the, the biggest portion. So you'll see expenses for catering. Obviously, the food was delicious and fantastic and not cheap. Um, but yeah, it was pretty good. So that's better than when it's uh, really expensive and sucks. So happy that we had that. Uh, the facility rental actually was a, a pretty sweet deal. Um, you can see that we paid an awful lot in taxes uh, and our accountants and office managers work on those types of things. The AV companies, the internet, the um, event planning company, Groundswell Marketing that we'll talk about. Uh, all those things add up. And so where we came out to was about 858,000 uh, euro in expenses. So that's a lot of money. Um, how do we raise it? Well, here's, here's where we are. Uh, conference registrations, approximately 543,000. Uh, we raised about 32,000 uh, from our uh, trainings program, which is really cool. Um, and then our sponsors. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about sponsors as well, but really it's their financial support that makes a conference that's really worth well over $1,500 a ticket, a four or $500 you know, approximate U.S. ticket. So we really, really thank them, and again, we'll talk about them in a bit. Um, our CXO program, about $9,000, so we raised about 892 k in revenue. So if you do the simple math, uh, we had about 892000 in uh, revenue, 858 in expenses. Um, for the second time, this is um, a European conference that's able to contribute back to the community approximately 33,000 euros. Congratulations, everyone. All right. Um, so one of the biggest parts of the conference is, um, of course, the network. Uh, the four things that I've learned doing this conference is what's most important to you guys seems to be a lot of electricity, and you'll notice it was at every chair, a blazing fast internet connection, a lot of coffee, and a lot of beer. So uh, we'll talk a little bit about the, uh, the network connections. Um, I've done a comparison of what we did in London. Actually, I didn't do it. Our partners, Pylon One, did. Um, but a, a comparison of what we did in London versus what we've done here, and you'll see that we've basically doubled almost everything. So uh, from London, we had about uh, 94 megabits in bandwidth, um, excuse me, um, in incoming bandwidth. Uh, here was about 80. Um, you know, not really much, oh, sorry. Um, not really much sense in just reading the slides over, um, and all this will be posted on uh, D.O. Uh, as well, so you'll be able to go through these directly. But basically, we transmitted about 1.2 terabytes of data this week. That's a lot of data, right? <laughs> All right. Um, one of the uh, other cool things is um, I used to be the event manager for Apple Computer, so I take a lot of great pride in saying 60% of the devices, of the unique devices on our network were Apple. Um, that's pretty awesome. Okay. And you'll see uh, Samsung had a nice effect, uh, HTC as well, and then about 22% of the devices that were just um, you know, too numerous to name. 
All right, uh, there's some more stats up here as well. Uh, what we're looking at here is a sample. Um, basically, we averaged about um, 60 megabits per second of uh, data, and we peaked at about 80 megabytes. When we come into a venue, we book a 100 megabit line, so it's just about perfect, just about right on. So that's pretty great. Uh, and then uh, wireless users, we peaked at 1,600 concurrent wireless devices, uh, uh, cellular, excuse me, 1,600 concurrent devices. So that's, uh, that's pretty darn good. Um, the network uh, connectivity, what did you guys think? Pretty good? Uh, well, you'll see some guys running around in blue shirts with little green triangles on them. That's Pylon 1, so let them know that you appreciate it. Uh, they did a great job in London and a really great job here. All right. So now we're going to see if the internet works. We're going to try and stream a video live. Buenas tardes a todos. Hello, everybody. I'm Felix Delatre, and this is Fabiano Santana, and we are just part of the um, DrupalCon Sao Paulo team. This year's DrupalCons are going to take a big, big steps forward. Um, for the first time, you're going to have three DrupalCons in a single year. And more than that, we're also going to have the first DrupalCon of the Southern Hemisphere that's going to be in Sao Paulo, Brazil. The DrupalCon is going to take place from December 6 to 8, 2012. Um, the talks on DrupalCon Sao Paulo will have a deeper developer focus, and we have a lot of talk about Drupal 8 since we are going to be around the Drupal 8 feature freeze. And, but of course, um, there are going to be a lot of content for themers, designers, engineers, architects, and the business of Drupal. And we are also really excited to announce a new DrupalCon feature. DrupalCon is becoming more and more multilingual. So we are going to have simultaneous translations for talks in English, Portuguese, or Spanish. So if you want to present a talk at the DrupalCon, you can do so in either of the three languages. And basically, you have until September 7th to submit your awesome session. By the way, Brazil is one of the most advanced regions in the world when it comes to open source. Um, collaboration has led this country to become um, one of the biggest and most developed um, markets, IT tech markets. And um, we invite you to come to a place where um, there is a huge innovation and um, they, um, sorry. <laughs> and, um, Economically, it is just one of the most growing um, markets in um, the Americas. So don't wait. Get ready. Um, you can learn how to get involved or learn or stay informed about the event on our website. The registrations are going to be open really soon. And the best part is December is summer in Brazil. <laughs> So 
So come to Brazil and enjoy the perfect summer there with your fellow Trupalistas and um, um, look how Latin America is going to embrace the future of Trupal. I hope to see you all in Sao Paulo. Nos vemos em São Paulo. And these are the um, important dates you may want to have a look on it if you want to submit a session or apply for a scholarship. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So um, I have a, a friend who wanted to join us, but he's a little ways away and wasn't quite able to make it, so he sent a video. Uh, so I thought I'd show that for you. I hope you're all having a great DrupalCon in Munich and I would have loved to have been there myself but as you can see it's pretty hard to leave here. So that got us thinking in Sydney. What about we do a DrupalCon here? It'll be the depths of your northern winter and the height of our summer and you can all come down, enjoy it here, we'll have an amazing DrupalCon. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Now it's probably no surprise that Drupal has taken off in Australia and New Zealand just like it has in the rest of the world. And we've now got thousands of websites running Drupal in the enterprise, government, education, media and non-profit sectors, right up to the Parliament of New Zealand and the Prime Minister of Australia. There's been Drupal camps and meetups in every major city down under since the mid-2000s. With this being the first DrupalCon to be held in the Asia-Pacific region, DrupalCon Sydney is all about growing the community and adoption of Drupal from this already strong foundation. Now did I mention that the venue for DrupalCon Sydney is right here on the beach? We've been lucky to secure one of the most amazing locations in the world for a DrupalCon at the Crown Plaza Hotel right on the sand of Sydney's famous Coogee Beach. Only 10 minutes from the airport and the heart of the city, the event will run from February 6 to 9, 2013, when Sydney's daily average temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. The world-class venue has space for six concurrent sessions and even a poolside boffer area, but we've got a strict limit of 400 tickets, which will definitely sell out quickly. Walk 100 metres from the venue and you'll discover more than 30 international restaurants and bars, and Sydney's famous for its great coffee on every street corner. And does Sydney need any introduction as one of the best places in the world to visit? Conveniently located halfway between London and New York, Sydney's best known for its beaches and harbour. But the diverse multicultural population of 4.5 million means there's everything from the opera house to all night techno, modern art to street art. In fact, arrive in late January and you'll catch the Sydney Festival, stay a week later in February and you can do the gay and lesbian Mardi Gras. And that's just Sydney. There's an island the size of Europe to explore beyond there. So does that sound like a bit of fun? DrupalCon Sydney is all going to be about growing Drupal down under and having you join us here is just going to make it that much better. So we'll catch you here. We're going to catch some dolphins there. <laughs> Sorry, I get a little bit excited at that song. Um, g'day. I think Owen really kind of said it all, so I don't want to take any more of your time. Come to Sydney. It's going to be awesome. Uh, so the next video, I should bring up the Portland team, but I'm selfish and I'm from Portland, so it's going to be me. Where's it going? 
bicycle ride. Bicycle ride. Bicycle. I'm on a bike. 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 You're gonna turn. You gotta tell me. Watch out, bike, 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 bike. Uh, cars, man. Why? Uh, I don't have a driver's license. I don't need it. I got a bike lane here. Hey, I get this whole lane. Ten feet rule. Oregon State law. Ten feet. Hey, birds. Get that little bike. What are you looking at? I dig that tribal look. All foods is corporate. I hope I get a sunburn. Hold up. I'm stopping. I'm stopped. That means I'm stopped. Pull your mirrors in. Go well, down. Let me go. Oh, wow. That's why. Watch out. Hey, bike lane. Bike lane. Bike's right. Go vegan. Move, 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 move. Gotta move over a little bit. A better place you can be. Move, move. Anyone home? Stuart. Stu? You home? Please don't be working at the co-op. Please. <laughs> so I would also like to welcome you all to Portland in May of 2013. Um, as you can tell, Portland's really big on bikes. And while we don't all have huge facial hair, it's kind of also a thing. Um, we're going to be opening the um, call for papers in the next coming months, and we would love to have all of you join us in Portland. Um, we're also doing the uh, call for volunteers. We're doing um, the systems team and the uh, content team, if you want to be a track chair and you're North American slash maybe European also. Um, so go ahead and um, submit online on ADO, and we are going to be doing that in the next month or so. Um, and then speaking of volunteers, I would like to um, acknowledge the people who have helped put on DrupalCon Munich, uh, the people who helped launch us from the beginning and who have stayed with us all the way to the end. Um, we're really appreciative, and we would like to bring up uh, someone who's helped us from the beginning. Okay. Florian Lorton, would you please come up? So uh, I was very, very fortunate to uh, have Florian as my partner for the last year, and what I found was Florian is incredibly creative. He was amazingly dedicated. He worked extremely, extremely late. He got up extremely, extremely early. There really wasn't anything that you couldn't ask him to do that he wasn't open to do and try. And he really came forth with some great ideas. I feel very, very fortunate to have him as my partner. So Florian, thank you. Thank you. Well, first of all, I would like to thank, uh, well, you know, I've also been working uh, with you for quite a bit of time. And, you know, we, we have a lot of volunteers. We also have people who are employed at the Triple Association. They get paid for that, but it doesn't mean that they're not incredibly dedicated. And I think that they, they deserve just as much credit as everyone. Yeah. And also, I've had the chance to uh, get a lot of feedback from, from many of you during this week. Um, most of it was positive. There are a couple issues, but most of it was very, very positive. And, well, you know, I've, I've done my contribution, but I think this is one thing that was great. We had a fantastic team, and I think this is really what made this conference such a successful event. And we have had some very dedicated people and it's been really a pleasure to work with them. And I've, I think that I've made many friends over this year. And, well, really, I want to say to all of you, thank you. And please stand up. And please, everybody, well, the, please stand up, those of you who are part of the team. <laughs> everybody who had something to play, uh, to do with this, um, with this conference, please get up. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
So, um, indeed, you know, all these people have been really fantastic to work with. Um, it's been just a joy working with this community in general. Um, I mentioned a little bit earlier that uh, we get a lot of support from our sponsor community, and um, again, it's their financial contributions um, and a lot of times creativity that, well, the creativity adds a lot of fun to the show. So um, a lot of the cool things that you see happen around, that's them. Um, it is the financial contributions that they make that really help make this a very affordable ticket. And without their contributions, there's an awful lot of people that couldn't afford to come to a DrupalCon. So I would like to acknowledge um, quite a few sponsors. I can't get them all by name because I'll be here a while. But every last one of them, thank you so very, very much for your support. All right. And uh, again, you know, another part of the equation, of course, is the Drupal Association, the people that I have the pleasure of working with day in and day out. Um, so there's uh, just kind of a handful of folks. Um, Stephanie, my partner, has been working with me for six months, and she's just been tirelessly dedicated, again, really creative, keeps me in track and uh, standing up on, on many occasions. So, Stephanie, thank you, of course. Um, Marta Betts, our marketing uh, coordinator, our marketing manager, Marcom manager, has done a tremendous job in helping us get the word out along with the help of many great volunteers. Uh, Jacob, of course, our executive director. Chris Klinkhammer, who keeps our operations running smoothly. Megan Staneke, our director of uh, business development and sales, uh, who did a tremendous job working with the sponsor communities and making sure that they got everything that they, uh, that they earned or deserved. Liz Trudeau, who is back in New York with us and wasn't able to join us, um, and works on a, a many of our programs, and um, gosh, pardon me, uh, Ruth Fuller, again, who's a brand new member who worked on a lot of the sponsor fulfillment and making sure, again, that um, she backed up uh, Megan and everybody who paid for a benefit uh, was given every opportunity to make good on it. So, um, and the last member, of course, Tyler Ward, who helped work on our website um, and keep us up and going. So to all those folks, thank you again for working with me. <laughs> And there's a few companies, of course, that we want to acknowledge as well. Uh, first of all, I'd mentioned earlier Pylon One. Uh, Pylon One kept our network up and running um, and also uh, worked really diligently on the systems recordings and the few uh, sessions that uh, had some audio issues. They're uh, working tirelessly to get corrected and get them up online, but they've really done a great job of getting the sessions up as fast as humanly possible. So by the end of the day of each day, uh, by midnight, everything from that day has been uploaded. That's really great. Um, I mentioned again the uh, hotel, uh, the people over here at the Westin and the people at Sheraton, how tremendous they've been to work with and really just world class. For the fun of it, I did just an analysis of being weighted on hand and foot. And what I found is for 1.8 million, uh, million euro a year, you too can be weighted on hand and foot by seven people. <laughs> so they were really nice. Uh, our production company, Groundsville Marketing, I mention them uh, each time that we do this uh, because Diana Connolly has been working on the show longer than I have. Uh, it's her and her crew that uh, keep us up and going, make sure things go smooth, and uh, while my job, again, is pretty much to watch budgets, Diana um, keeps me on the straight and narrow as far as our ecological impact and being a good environmental citizen. So Diana is tireless in making sure that we're a green organization as best as possible, works with me tirelessly, and I really appreciate everything she does. Even when I yell back at her, she yells louder. Um, the PSAV folks for uh, doing uh, all the great audio, uh, excuse me, all the great audio and visual that PSAV does. And uh, finally, one of the real gems that we met uh, here, in, um, here in Germany was Kokomore, the people who made this place look so darn great. So a special thanks to all of our partners for helping us and making it beautiful and making it easy. <laughs> So that was DrupalCon Munich. It's been a project that lasted about a year. Well, it started a little, a little more than a year, but um, it was a very exciting project. And well, it is now slowly coming to an end. It was a great adventure. But DrupalCon is not over yet. And um, well, it keeps coming, keeps coming. And of course, it will keep coming in Europe too next year. And I think that there's a lot of people who have been wondering, where is it going to be? Um, and I'm not going to tell you where it's going to be, but I'm going to pretty much hand off the, the DrupalCon torch to the leaders that are going to lead uh, the team for, for the next DrupalCon. So, <laughs> which is going to be, 
Well, <laughs> please, <laughs> Andrew and Joseph. Oops. So as I've been walking around all the beer gardens and the sessions, I've heard people talking, where's DrupalCon going to be in Europe next year? And I have to tell you, it's taken all of my self-control <laughs> not to just shout at the top of my voice, not to yodel in the beer gardens. Finally, we can tell you, next year, the DrupalCon Europe is going to be in Prague. <laughs> Praha, Česká Republika. I can't imagine a more magical city for us to all join in. I should warn you to begin with, I went for five days, stayed for 18 years. <laughs> I've never found a city where I have more fun. I think everybody knows the tourism is perfect. The architecture is amazing. The cultural life, the social life fits perfectly with what we were looking for in a place to have the next DrupalCon. Prague is also great for organizing conferences. And, uh, all of the city center is very compact, and all of the activities which you would like to do there are very nearby. All of the cultural life, the entertainment, uh, conference place, it's all very close to each other, so it will be a lot of fun. What you might not know, though, is there's an incredibly strong technology culture in Czech Republic and in Central and Eastern Europe. There should be a lot of interesting new opportunities. Companies like Skype, Microsoft, uh, AVG, Avast, all have huge development teams in the Czech Republic. There's an incredibly strong series of universities with technical programs, with students who could possibly become part of our Drupal community. So I'd like everyone, when they go, to think about what are the opportunities that you're going to have there to find new business and to bring new people into the Drupal community. Because I really think that that's what these conferences are about, helping us to get to know each other better and finding new people to bring into our community. So we're looking forward to seeing you next year in the Czech Republic. Uvidíme se v Praze. All right. So, there was a lot of us here. Kind of filled up that whole thing, except for the turtle. They asked us not to stand on it because I... Not a lot of weight. Um, this was a, a really fun conference for me. I really enjoyed doing it. I really enjoyed meeting so many of you guys. So I wanted to say thank you very much. I'm looking forward to playing trivia with you tonight. So thank you guys for coming. Thanks for coming, everyone. And tomorrow, don't forget about the sprint. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks for coming to DrupalCon. She called me Mr. Bombastic, really fantastic. Got me on my box, she says I'm uh, Mr. Ro Romantic. Call me fantastic, got me on my box, she says I'm uh, Mr. Ro Smooth, just like a silk. Half and cuddly, hug me up like a quilt. I'm a